Greetings and salutations, everybody. This is Miss Pretty Kitty coming to you live once again. Well, I'm not really live. Well, I am right now. But by the time you see it, I won't be. <laughs> okay, so this video is just um, me adding my little two cents into something. But I, I tried not to. I really, I, I tried hard. But let, let me just get to it. <clears throat> All right, so there's a YouTuber by the name of True Freeman. His real name is Tyra. There is another YouTuber by the name of Tommy Sotomayor. Now, Tyra has a beef going with Tommy. Okay, I think this beef been going about almost two years. Now, the beef is because, I believe, because Tyra don't agree with the way that Tommy speaks about black women. Now, I personally agree with some things that Tommy says, and I don't agree with some things that he says. But I get what he's trying to do. Okay, so Tyra also, I believe, is a little jealous of Tommy. Well, not a little jealous. He's a big, a big jealous. Okay? Um, because Tommy, he has a, a pretty huge following. Okay? He, he has, a, you know, a lot of supporters. And they do donate to him. While Tyra, on the other hand, his he don't he don't have you know quite as many supporters. And Tyra is very mean. He's evil. He is a clown. He talks to the people that supports him like they animals and they take it they put up with it you know and then he turns around and asks these people for donations i don't know if they donate but i can promise you i would not donate to someone who talks to me the way that he talks to them like you, if you just watch one of his videos you will see that i'm not exaggerating he has a horrible mouth um, and he just, ooh, like he just curses them people out. And they still there. And maybe they like it. But Tyra, I'm going to tell you this. You got to show some dignity and respect to people because you want them to respect you. I hear you say it all the time. Oh, respect me. That's what you say. But you disrespect them. Like you are so evil. I can't even really call you a man. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to move on. So, like I said, uh, uh, Tyra has a beef with Tommy. And, you know, and because of this beef, he has talked about Tommy like a dog. Now, now, man, I have never met Tyra. I have never met Tommy. But right is right and wrong is wrong. Okay, so, again, so... Um, <clears throat> Tyra has talked about Tommy like a dog. He has talked about his family, more specifically his mother and his daughter. His daughter is uh, 11. You know, she's a beautiful little girl. Um, but Tyra has said some of the most disgusting things about that little girl. I'm going to try to put that particular video in the description box so you can see for yourself. You can hear it for yourself. Um, but some of the things that I heard him say um, was that... Uh, um, the little girl, by the time she's 13, she's going to be a whore and a prostitute. Um, she's crispy. She ugly. Um, uh, he hopes she get raped by 10 niggas. White niggas is what he said. Um, uh, he said a lot more. But you can listen for yourself. So anyway, Tyra... Um, son is 24 and Tyra tricked his son into coming over to his house because he wanted to check him because the son apparently had smoked some weed in um, Tyra's house and live streamed it on Facebook so um, now everything that I'm saying is documented it, it's in a video somewhere I've, I've heard it myself with my own ears all of this 
So Tyra, like I say, tricked his son into coming over. So the son come over, you know, he walking into a trap. He don't even know. So, you know, the son come in and said, I have a seat, you know, try to kick with his daddy. Now, his daddy starts, well, first of all, he turns the camera on for the entire world to see what he's about to do to his son. <clears throat> so, you know, he, he introduces him to the world as, yeah, this my this my bitch ass son. Now the son is confused because he don't even know what's going on yet. So anyway, you know, he goes on to tell him, you know, curse him out like, like really. The dude, Tyra, is going to give himself a stroke or a heart attack because all he does is yell and scream. I mean, he just be, yeah, and you in my motherfucking house. Nigga, you, you smoking weed in my motherfucking house. Nigga, why you do that? I mean, he just went on and on with it. But the son, you know, he, he trying to, you know, take it. You know, because the son was really being being respectful. But then, you know, Tyra said, asks the, his son a question. So the son, you know, he's sitting there trying to be quiet. But Tyra yelling at the top of his lung, answer me. Answer, answer so they can hear you. So the son answers the question, which the answer was yes. Then Tyra turns around, oh, you trying to get jiggy with me? Like, Tyra, you confusing him and you confusing me. You just asked him a question. And when he answered the question, he trying to get jiggy with you? Like, what, what, what is he going to be? Okay, so anyway. So he, he embarrasses and humiliates his child. Like, it was, it embarrassed me. That's how bad it was. So... You know, okay, so that happened. Then Tommy ends up having the son on his show, which they ended up having a pleasant conversation. Um, and on on that particular show, the son says that Tyra, his father, because of what he did to him that day, that he would never see him again or his grandkids. Now personally i don't blame the son because what i saw and heard was awful okay so now tyra after he has done this to his son he goes on to make videos bragging about what he did to his son didn't show any remorse whatsoever okay but then after he gets wind that the son has been on tommy's show now he makes in another makes another video. Guess what he doing in that video? Crying. Yeah, tears, crying. He on there like, uh, my son love me. I know my son love me. Can't nobody tell me my son don't love me. I love my son. Son, I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm sorry. I don't even care about the videos no more. Now you sorry. What you sorry for? Exactly. What are you sorry for? Are you sorry because he went on Tommy's show? Or are you truly sorry for what you did because you was bragging in the videos you made prior to? No remorse whatsoever. But now, because he been on Tommy's show, now you sorry? Um. So, okay, so that's what happened. So then, Tyra makes another video. And in this video, he trying to go off on Tommy for having his son on his show. Because he feel like, oh, not, this was the things he said. Oh, you not, you didn't fuck with my family now. Nigga, I'm going to touch you. Now, you don't nobody fuck with my family. I'll die for mine. But Tyra Jamel, uh, have you forgotten all those things that you have said about Tommy and his family? More specifically, his daughter? Did you forget? Like, like, how does this work? Like, okay, so it's okay for you to do this for 18 months. And then when your son, who is grown, who makes his own decision, go on Tommy's show, now it's a problem? Now he didn't fucked with your family? But didn't you do the same to his? I'm confused. 
Okay, so then Tyra says, he tells Tommy that the Midwest is a no-fly zone for Tommy. Like, he can't even come to the Midwest. Because if he come to the Midwest, like, it's on. Because what he has said is, he either wants to see Tommy in jail, dead, or broke. So, he has issued a no-fly zone for Tommy. So, you know, Tommy being who he is, honey, he went to the Midwest. Nothing happened. Tyra was nowhere to be found. So, okay, then he, 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 you know, tells him, you know, oh, this, this nigga better not come to Indianapolis. That nigga come to Indianapolis, I'm going to touch that nigga. Hey, I don't care if he in the police station. I'm going to go to the police station. I'm going to hit that nigga in the face. So, Tommy being who he is, honey, he went to Indianapolis. Not only did he go to Indianapolis, but he made a play-by-play -play, uh, video of his whereabouts. And can I say that Tyra Jamel was MIA that's missing in action. Yeah, he was MIA. Did not show up nowhere. But let me tell you what he did do. <laughs> he made another video. But in this particular video, he was giving excuses as to why he didn't meet up with Tommy while Tommy was in Indianapolis. Oh, yeah, he had so many excuses. Like, I was, I was like, Tyra, come on now. Like, dude, you see it. Because, oh, one of the excuses was, oh, Tommy had the police around. He was try Tommy was trying to set me up. Yeah, he just had, he was he was around the police all the time. But, Tyra, you see, I heard you say that you didn't care if he was at the police station. You was going to touch him. That's what you see. But now you got excuses. You got conditions now as to why you didn't meet up. Now, see, at this point, Tyra, Jamel, sir, Tommy has punked you. Like, at least two times. More than that, but I'm, I'm going to give you two. He didn't came to your city. Okay? He didn't walk around your city. He went to the game in your city. He walked outside his hotel in your city. Nowhere to be found, Tyra. Like, you got to stop this. You devoting too much of your time to another nigga. Okay? Way too much. You got a wife. Okay. So, um, so I, I, I have three things that I want Tyra Jamil to do. Okay? Number one, I want you to leave Tommy alone. Because now it's useless, okay? Because he, he didn't came to your city. I punked you, Tyra. Okay. So, like, like cause, because now you're looking like a fool. Okay, you're looking like a clown. By continuing to make all these videos with all these excuses as to why you didn't meet up with him in Indianapolis. All right? So, I mean, the, the best thing you can do is leave him alone. Like, he just, he, he just gonna continue to make you look like a fool. Okay? Number two. I want you to stop devoting all of your YouTube live streaming time to another man. I want you to stop doing that. It's not a good look. Okay? What I want you to do is take your wife out for dinner. Okay? Like, Rub her feet or something. Because you you devoting all this time to another man. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't do that. Number three. And probably the most important. Not probably. It is the most important. I want you to do everything in your power to get your son and your grandkids back. That's what's important. Not Tommy. Not, uh, um devoting all your time to him you know not live streaming for 10 hours towards Tommy that ain't important all this internet beef and stuff like is it worth it to you or is or is your son and your grandkids more worth it all right I want you oh you know what uh-uh number four you have got to stop 
being so mean and evil and are doing all that yelling and cursing at people. Okay, you got to stop because you look like a fool. Okay, it's not cute. I know you think it's cute. You know, it make you, you know, think you a, a bad dude. You know, wait. All right, hold on one second. Okay, I apologize. We had some jets flying over. I'm at work. But anyway, um, I know, you know, you you know, all that cursing and yelling and screaming and motherfucker this and motherfucker that and fuck you bitch and do it suck my thumb and all that. I know you may think that, you know, that makes you a big man and all of that, but it don't. It makes you look foolish, stupid, ignorant. Okay, so, um, so those are the four things that I want you to do. Okay, I'm trying to help you, Tyra Jamel. All right. Okay. So I appreciate anybody who comes back to listen to this mouth once again. I really do. So if you like this video, like it. If you like it, share it. And if you share it, you might as well subscribe. All right. So this is Miss Pretty Kitty signing off. Uh-huh.